All right, I'm finally making a iPhone slash iPod Touch 2 computer video. Uh, this is a pretty easy process. It's a little easier than the last video because you have to use software. Um, obviously, I'm doing this on a Mac, but I have reason to believe that this can be done on Windows also. Uh, I would try it out and just let me know, and if it doesn't work, I will make a Windows version Anyway, so you have to use this software called iExplorer. Uh, the link will be in the description. Click that link and you'll come to this page and it'll start downloading. Uh, it is like a product that you have to buy, but you can download the trial version and just do this once and you should be set. So once that's finished downloading, obviously go ahead and open it up. Right? And if your device isn't plugged in, this screen right here will basically just tell you to plug your device in. And once you plug your device in, this tab will show up and it has all your phone or iPod information and I'm not going to click that because it will show you all my information. Right? Anyway, from here just click on media and you'll get all these folders. And Notice that this folder right here is the folder that I think shows up if you plug your device in without this software. But luckily this beautiful software allows you to have access to all these things right here. But the only folder you need to focus on really is iTunes control, this one at the very bottom. So just double click that, boom. From there you just want to click on music. And if you've seen my previous video from a few years ago, this will look familiar to you. All these folders right here. This is basically all your music. So if I just click one randomly, all these like coded MP3 files right here are coded versions of your music, I guess. And when you put these into iTunes, iTunes will translate them for you so you don't have to just sit there and rename all your music. Right? Anyway, so you can literally just take this music folder and drag it onto your desktop. I've already done that, so I'm just going to stop it. It takes a pretty pretty long time depending on how many, much music you have. I had 8 gigs of music, so it took a while, probably over an hour. Once all that gets onto your computer, you can literally just open up iTunes, take that folder and just drag and drop it into your iTunes library and that will probably take long as well but all your music should be there and it should be ready to use and then you should be able to sync your iPhone or iPod touch without losing all your music pretty easy right uh, if you have any questions just send me a message I'll try them and answer them uh, like I said, if this doesn't work on Windows, also let me know of that, and I will make a Windows version. Uh, anyway, hope this works. Good luck, and thanks for watching.